product research. It's a love-hate relationship and whether you like to do it or not, you need to learn how to become good at it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys another technique to do product research and to filter through all the products on Amazon and find profitable products and more importantly, profitable keywords that profitable, meaning that they have high searches and then there's not going to be a ton of competitors competing for those words. So in this specific video, we're going to go over exactly how to utilize Helium 10's Magnet Tool, which is a very, very powerful tool. A lot of people simply only use Magnet for keyword research when they're doing their listing optimization to get their bullet points and all their titles and text for the actual product they found. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use Magnet to do product research which is once again, very, very powerful because we can see these searches that Magnet provides us. Now, the crazy thing about Helium 10 is that there's so many ways to find products on Amazon. And I actually found a new product to sell on Amazon using the Magnet tool, which is actually a the keyword tool on Helium 10. And so a lot of people only use Blackbox. They only use the different product research tools on Helium 10, but you can also use the keyword research tools on Helium 10 to find more and more profitable products. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. And also, if you have not had a chance to try out Helium 10 yet, then click in the comment section and in the description, I have a 50% off code that will save you 50% off your very first month. I highly recommend that you try it out because it really makes the product research process a lot easier and a lot faster. So with all that being said, let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're on the laptop right now. And the very first thing that I want to show you guys is exactly how we use Magnet. So basically, if we come to Helium 10, and we come to tools and we go to magnet. This is going to be once again, the keyword research tool. So if we were to simply just go on Amazon, like right now, and I'll just type in the word, I wanna start with something that's a little bit close to home, something that I like to do. So I'll just go with basketball. So if I just type in the word basketball, right? It's going to be an extremely broad keyword, meaning that all we're gonna have on Amazon is just going to be basketball. Now, yes, we can go down the rabbit hole and maybe we can go to the left-hand side and look at um, toy bass, obviously not toy basketball products, but we could look at um, other things that would lead, that would lead us down into more specific basketball products. But on Amazon, once again, if we were to click on like this Wilson, we're not going to get very many other results other than just basketballs. Yes, we have a, like a basketball carrying case and a basketball pump. But if we were to type in the same exact word on Magnet, if we just go enter a keyword, Basically, the power of Magnet is that it's going to get us all of the related keywords to basketball. So just basketball, to be basketball with pump. A bunch of longer tail keywords mean that they're going to be more specific to a certain product. And so with that being said, if we, if we scroll down, we can see all of the different words. And so what Magnet shows us is the keyword phrases, the Magnet IQ score. And so for the Magnet IQ score, the higher the score is, the more um, specific the product is going to be and the less competition there's going to be for the amount of searches for that term. Now, so we wanna be focusing on high Magnet IQ scores. Obviously, we wanna be focusing on high search volumes. And so we see the Magnet IQ score, the keyword, free, the keyword phrase, the search volume. Um, and also that's something that's very important is the number of competing products. So we can see right here that for Kids Toy, which is super broad, I don't know how that popped up with the word basketball, but once again, for Kids Toy, there's over 100,000 different players on Amazon selling kids toy. So what we wanna do essentially is use this as a way to find more and more profitable keywords. So what we're gonna be focusing on is high search volumes. And so we can just go down, right down the list. A boys, toddler, toys, age two, not really super specific to what we're doing. Little tights, basketball, I'm not super interested in kid toys right now, basketball toys for kids. Um, little tights, basketball set. Let's go with basketball hoop accessories. So what we can do is we have this keyword, basketball hoop accessories. It has a search volume of 1,600 searches, which isn't insanely high, but once again, it is gonna be summer soon and you can see that search volume has went up 56%. And so we're just going to open this up into um, Amazon. And basically what we have now is from basketball. Once again, if you type basketball in directly into Amazon, we're gonna get a bunch of specific just basketball. But if we type into magnet, we can see all the other longer tail keywords with the search volume and the number of competing products so that we can get a lot more specific. Now with the basketball hoop accessories, what we want to do is basically just go down the maze. And so we can see that they have a basketball return attachment, which would allow you to not have to, you know, run and get your rebounds after you shoot. It'll kind of just shuttle it towards you. They have a net, they have lights, they have a hoop light, which is Pretty interesting. I'm going to open this in another tab just so we can look at it in a second. But let's see if we see anything else that's interesting. We have, once again, a basketball return system. I'm going to, I was going to open it, but I see that this one right here is 2,500 reviews. And so there's two right here and it may be a little bit saturated. And we're going to just keep looking. 
And I'm just going to, once again, we see another light, which has um, less than 150 reviews. So that's already a pretty good indication. And what we can do is basically, um, we have this one right here and we have this light as well. Now, the main keyword that we wanna focus on for this is finding a keyword. So we went from basketball to basketball accessories. Now we wanna niche down a little bit further and see exactly what they're titling this basketball light. So we have LED basketball hoop light and we also have um, basketball hoop lights. So we'll just go with basketball hoop lights. And so once again, we're niching down from the big word basketball that's super broad that anyone can sell anything under to basketball hoop lights. Um, and so now we have a bunch of basketball hoop lights. And now from this, we have a lot more specific of a product. And we can see that these ones aren't really what we're looking for. We're actually looking for LED basketball hoop light, but we see them right here. Now we have a bunch of um, organic results. Now we're just gonna skip past the first couple because once again, these aren't the same. And these two, um, our basketball hoop lights, but and so we can see from these two actually we can start right here We have 1300 reviews, which is not super um, It's not super non-competitive. It's very competitive a thousand three hundred reviews is, is very very high But once again, the second organic listing only has a hundred reviews the third 50 the fourth 10 280 70 so now this looks to be not too competitive based off the reviews It actually looks very very non-competitive because a lot of people with under a couple hundred reviews. And so if we just basically put this into X-rays, Helium 10, Chrome extension, we can see exactly how much money they're making. Because yes, on the surface, it looks not super competitive, but if it's not making money, then who cares if it's not competitive? Because if you're not making money, that's the whole point of this game. So if we open this up, we can see exactly how much this specific basketball hoop light search term is making. Now, a couple things to know right off the bat are going to be number one, the search volume. We have 3,000 monthly searches for this term, basketball hoop light, which is pretty healthy. It's not super high, it's not 10,000 above, but it's also not below 1,000, meaning that it's going to be decent and it's not going to be super competitive for the search term. Now, if we come down to total revenue, we have over 500,000. We have actually 1,100,000, which is 1.1 million. Obviously, I don't know why I made it like that, but we have a 1.1 million dollars in total revenue for this term so it's definitely profitable now if we come over to the um, review count and we can actually just move this over um, right there so we have the review count relative to the revenue now if we actually look at this we can see if it's actually profitable so we have you know 144 reviews making 3,300 bucks not too much 10 reviews making three thousand dollars that's that's a lot better it's a new player making money 100 reviews $15,000, 87 reviews, only 900, 600 reviews, which is going to be, you know, one of the top players making 63,000, which is pretty nice, obviously. 28 reviews making 24,000, 1,300 reviews making 15,000, 100 reviews, 15,000, 57 reviews, 7,000, so on and so forth. So we can see that this keyword is very profitable and there's not too much um, competition. There's only a single guy who has over a thousand reviews, which is a very good sign. And there's at least, there's at least one, uh, one, two, three, four, five out of the first 10 who have under 100 reviews. And there's a couple of people who have one, two, three. There's three people who have 150 reviews or lower. So that is a very, very good sign. Now, what we can do also on Helium 10 Extra Extension is see the suppliers on Alibaba because we see that these that we see that the selling price is going to be anywhere from fifteen ninety nine, which is kind of the lower end, but normally you know twenty to thirty bucks. And if we click Find Suppliers on Alibaba, we can see if this is actually going to be profitable for us to sell. So if we come down here, we see that there is one that is slightly different. It looks like the looks like the net is actually glowing, but this is eight fifty. We look at the actual product, which is going to be the rim light, three dollars. We have here a net and a rim, eight bucks, twelve bucks, and so you want to look at this. And so we see that there's some that are three bucks, some that are you know ten, some that are four, some that are three, three. And so I'm assuming that we could probably source this product for around you know four bucks for a good high quality product. And also, it's going to be a very light product, meaning that it's going to be allowing you to not have to send it on a ship and wait, you know, two months to get here. Since it's very light, small, and compact, it can easily be air flown over for pretty much the same exact price that it would be on a boat because it's very light and once again compact. So you can definitely get this units over to the US quick to get sales on Amazon. But once again, this is going to be something that we need to actually think outside the box. Yes, it is a rim light. Yes, it is um, not too competitive. And yes, there's money to be made. 
And yes, it's not super, you know, expensive in terms of the actual units themselves, but how are we going to actually make this better? That's what we have to think about. And so if we come back to the main listing, we can see exactly what this product is lacking and what's good about it. Now, what we'd have to do is actually look on each of these listings individual. Like we see this one right here, 10 reviews only has three and a half stars. Majority of them only have four stars as the maximum amount of, you know, positive reviews. And so that's already giving us a very, very good indication that there's something wrong with this product. Now we can just simply, you know, hover above this, click on the one star and see exactly the complaints, exactly the reasons why it's, you just say it bad, just, 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 just straight up bad. And so we can see that it, it probably might be, if you click on a three star, it might be, you know, um, electrical issue or whatever. This is an electronic and so it may require batteries or whatever it is, it could be faulty. And so that is an issue and that is something that, you know, I typically like to stay away from. But in this case, it seems very simple of a product. It's not like, you know, you're selling a PlayStation or something that's super complex. This is, you know, the lights work or not. And so you'd have to contact manufacturers, order samples and make sure you feel good about it. Now, something that I see right off the bat is that this one to me is standing out the most because it has a very, very professional um, packaging design. And so Hoop Rights, like it's just a perfect name. And so it's very, very um, premium looking. And so a lot of people are gonna be going to, towards this product as compared to, you know, these more cheap, you know, bad reviewed products. Now, what our job would be is to figure out exactly you know, what color design people like. Maybe they like the all white, maybe they like the um, specific different colors, but you wanna make a premium version, something that's different. Once again, we can include a box design, which is not going to cost that much to get made, but once again, it's going to increase the perceived value and he's going to be the premium version. Now, if we look at the sponsored, he is going to be the second organic result for the actual product. This guy's first with 1300 reviews, which is going to be obvious, but the second person, once again, the guy with the box is going to be in the second spot and it makes sense exactly why he's here because he has the premium version, he has the box, he has the packaging. It makes the customer feel more at ease that they're going to get a very, very high quality version as compared to you know the other ones that don't have box designs and don't look premium. So once again, you wanna be making yourself stand out, make yourself look unique and be offering the most value for what you're selling. And Hoop Rights, once again, right here, did an amazing job at doing that. Now, if we come back to Magnet, let's just do one more example. Once again, just, just to recap, we had the term basketball, which is super broad. We scrolled down, we looked at all the different keyword phrases and we looked at something that had decent search volume that sounded interesting to us. And from there, we were able to find, you know, the, from the basketball hoop accessories, we were able to find basketball hoop lights, LED, and that was going to be, you know, a keyword that was not super competitive. And so once again, we may or may not have found that with black box, but it allows us another chance to look at different searches and, and start with something that we feel that we're familiar with. Like for me, I grew up playing basketball. And so this would be something that I would actually enjoy selling. Now, for example, say, let's say that you played soccer and you wanted some soccer gloves. So if we were just to once again, go come right here, type in soccer gloves into here, into magnet, we're going to have a bunch of keywords that are going to be related to this. Now, this is going to be a more specific search term. It's not super broad like soccer. You could do soccer, you could do soccer gloves, you could do soccer shoes, it doesn't really matter, but you can just enter in here and it will give you all the related keywords. That is what's so powerful about Magnet. It really allows you to find you know, a bunch of other terms that are going to be profitable and that are going to be highly searched. Now, we can also even look at the Magnet IQ score. So if you look at the Magnet IQ score, once again, the higher it is, the better. And so we can see right off the bat from this first like list, we have um, batting gloves, New Balance, and we have Goldie Gloves Adidas. Now, New Balance and Adidas are going to be two different brands. So we're just going to look at the batting gloves and the Goldie Gloves. Now, if we just open this up into Amazon and open the batting gloves into Amazon as well. And basically we're just going to get rid of the Adidas and just type in Goldie Gloves. Now, from here, we have a specific product, once again, that's going to be very specific and very niche down. And now we have the best seller, 1900 reviews, 3000 reviews. So these are gonna be very high reviews, but you can see that it quickly drops off to 200 reviews, 28 reviews. Um, we scroll down past the sponsored, 16, 25, 116. And so, once again, this is not super competitive. So if we throw into X-Ray, we wanna see if it's actually making money or not. And so, if it's not, then we can move on to the batting gloves. But if this one's making money, we can just analyze this further and see exactly how we could come in and make this different. Wow, the search volume for goalie gloves is 20,000 searches. And so we have the overall revenue of 650,000 revenue. 
And so there's a lot of people searching for this term goalie glove. So if we were to just move the, um, actually, you know, it's right here. If we, if we look at the review count relative to the revenue, we can see that there's 16 reviews, 9,000, 9 reviews, 30,000, 72 reviews, 15,000, so on, so forth. And so out of the first, you know, 10 results, we only have two people who are over a thousand reviews and everyone else is under 250 reviews. Um, this guy being the third place in terms of reviews. Now, that is going to be amazing because it's not super competitive, but if you cannot figure out a way to differentiate yourself, it doesn't matter. It could be as non-competitive as, as you know, as it could be as, as non-competitive as it is, you know, but if you can't actually find a way to stand out and if more and more players come in and you just blend in with everybody else, it doesn't matter. Your product's not going to last a long time and you're not going to have that premium version that's unique that requires people to come to you to buy from you because everyone else looks the same. That's very, very important. Now, off the top of my head, I can't really find a specific way to stand out, maybe with the color or, you know, a different design, or maybe you have the goalie gloves plus something else bundled together. But, you know, with this amount of revenue, you definitely can think outside the box. You know, the lowest player is making 9,000 and, you know, you have upwards of 60,000 every single month for these simple gloves and you have a bunch of new players. And so you definitely would have to do, go with, um, me personally, I would probably go with, based off these pictures, I don't see any, any all white glove or any, you know, super different glove that would stand out. Most of them are darker or super neon. And so you can obviously go with a different color, but even that isn't super unique um, because everyone's still selling gloves. So this could be a product that you could use if you had creative mindset and you want to really, really make it different. But once again, I personally wouldn't go with this glove, but it still is very, very profitable. And there's still a lot of people coming in and making money. All right, guys, so once again, that was how you use Magnet. Once again, you wanna be making sure that you're looking at all these keyword phrases, going down each of them individually. There's gonna be lots of different mazes that you can go down through these different uh, keyword phrases and find more and more potential products. And so this is a technique that I have not seen anyone talk about, and so it's very underutilized and it's very, very specific. You find a keyword that has decent searches, doesn't have a ton of competition, and so um, it will require you to do more work and more searches, but you can find more products that may not be, you know, super discovered by everyone else using this magnet method. Now I have a 50% off discount code passive 50, or you can simply click the link in the description and in the comment section to save 50% off your very first month trying out Helium 10. Now, if you made it this far in the video, feel free to smash the like button and subscribe down below because I release multiple step-by-step -step tutorials every single week for you guys. And with all that being said, make sure that you're trying out Magnet and uncovering new keywords that you could potentially sell products under. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.